and let me share with you this. In this 5S, I can explain a lot of theory, but the most important thing that whatever companies that we have consulted, we have taken a video of that. Okay. And that video, I'm going to share five minutes of each of these video under 1S, five minutes of 2S, five minutes of 3S, five minutes of 4S, and five minutes of 5S. Okay. If you feel that will be awesome, type awesome in the chat box. I'll be sharing a video clip of the real fibers that has happened in different industries. A small snapshot of each of these, yes, some videos, okay? A real time video, okay? Of how we have implemented fibers. So please take good notes. So one is, first S means sorting, which is clearing. The second is a set in order, which is organizing. The third is shining, which is cleaning. The fourth is standard, which is standardization. And fifth is sustained, which is self-discipline. Okay. This is very simple. I'll explain in simple words. Whenever there is a wardrobe that you have or a kitchen you have, please sort out. The first yes is sort out what you need and what you don't need. Need and what you don't. What is necessary, what is not necessary. This is the first step. The second step is whatever is necessary, have a place for everything and put it in its place. All of you type P-E-E-P -E -E in the chat box. Okay, place for everything, everything in its place. And the third S is shining, which is speak and span. Okay, keep it neat and clean. And fourth S is standardization, which means that you have to follow this 1S, 2S, 3S regularly and have a discipline to maintain high levels of workplace organization. Okay, great. So last time we went into the depth of this sorting, we followed some principles. Okay, what is the principle that we followed? How many of you remember that principle of sorting that we followed? Okay, you will get a chocolate if you follow what principle that we shared. No, that is for second S, peep. The first S, what is the principle that we followed? NHQA, very good. Send chocolates for NHQA, okay? Send some chocolates, please, for NHQA, okay? And what is NHQA? Please quickly type what is NHQA. N for now, okay? H is here, okay? Q is quantity and not at all. Okay, fantastic. Okay, great. So all of you remembering last time, the first is sorting, which is eliminating the necessary from unnecessary. And uh, if you have any questions, please reserve the question towards the end and all the questions will be answered towards the end. And when you stay towards the end, you will also get this complete training manual from where I'm teaching. I'll, I'll give you the copy of the training manual and I'll also share the presentations with you. Okay. If you stay till the end. Okay. So as I said, the first test is um, sorting, which means that, you know, you have to segregate, okay, what is required and what is not required. And you follow a simple rule. Remember NHQA needed sometimes, you know, in our workplace, it is needed, but not now. It is needed, but not here. Why is it sitting here? It is needed, but not in so much quantity. I have excess quantity of something, more inventory. And there may be something which is not needed at all. If this is clear on a scale of 1 to 10, please give me a 9 or 10. If this is clear. Very simple, not a rocket science, not given in books. This NHQA is not given in books. If you have to write a book on 5S, please include this, okay? All right. And sometimes, okay, so whatever is not needed, you put something called as a red tag to just identify. In the red tag, you need to write something. Who has put the red tag? Why it is not required? And a date of it and some details about that, okay? That is red tag. Classify all the equipment and material based on frequency of use and place the red tag based classifications. Sometimes, you know, you can have uh, some area called, you can designate an area called red tag area. We call RTA, all of you type RTA in the chat box. RTA means red tag area. Okay, you have RTA here and put all that in red tag area. And sometimes if you're not able to move to the red tag area, if the items are very heavy, okay, if it is very heavy and you're not able to move, you can always tag it there only, okay? Because it will create safety issues if you carry heavy items and move to the red tag area, not required at all. Okay. Now, these are some pictures of after sorting out. 
there are a lot of pictures you might also find tons of scrap that is moving in one of the companies we have found some you know six tons of steel waste and probably half a ton of copper and aluminium waste and uh, probably uh, some probably close to a ton of some steel waste okay so we found a lot of how many of you can relate to what i'm saying type icr in the chat box even your company if it is manufacturing it might have a lot of uh, thing i can relate right okay icr means i can relate okay fantastic all right so so these are all some before after pictures taken quite some time back when we started the consultancy business i still have i wanted to keep the our own client pictures so that uh, it relates well within me okay and uh, even if it is little better than before it is okay right it may not be the best of best uh, after sorting but still it is the first step okay these are all a lot of before and after pictures okay this is some office area some cupboard okay this is some tools area tool racks which is after sorting so the benefit of oneness okay how many of you remember the benefit of oneness what is the abbreviation we had okay any of you remember if you have notes of last month you can you can mm sat very good okay mm sat that is the way to remember good fantastic okay thank you very much for remembering that okay when you do the oneness i mean by okay i i have to ask you questions okay so from the red tag area when you sort out unwanted items when you sell it you get money okay what is the second m okay what is the second m please type in the chat box material yeah so material that is not used in one area can be put into use in the other area what is yes stands for space yeah so by clearing of unwanted item you get a lot of free space right and what is a asset okay unused asset can be put to use somewhere and what is t very easy one time okay so you save a lot of time so mm sad is an easier way to remember so far if you are finding it interesting useful valuable fantastic awesome please put in the chat box let's dive into this amazing video on 5s please watch it how many of you are ready just type ready in the chat box i want a lot of your attention and i want a lot of you to take notes because taking a video from the client's place and you know editing it and giving it is a treasure okay so this is a treasure so if you have not seen the implementation of 5s please you know check this video uh, there is a series of five videos i'm going to show and you know be till the end and have an amazing learning today okay super just wanted to ensure that you will get the sound okay right i'll go off the video higher productivity and employee motivation what's going on what do you see does it look like a protest does it seem like they are shouting slogans to demand something well this is actually quite the opposite this is in fact a show of solidarity it is a show of commitment towards workplace excellence through the concept of 5s curious what sort of concept is 5S and how does it achieve so much change? Well, 5S is many things. It is a structured program geared towards systematic transformation of the workplace. It is a movement towards total organization, cleanliness and standardization. It is a transition from forcing change to inducing change. It is a way of life inside and outside the workplace. 5S represents a cultural revolution that heralds a departure from the orthodox system of working. It paves the way for a paradigm shift towards world-class excellence, quality and efficiency. The 5S system is a foundation of Kaizen a Japanese philosophy that embraces change and improvement. It stands for the five steps that need to be taken to achieve these changes. What exactly does 5S mean? In Japanese, the 5S's stand for 
Siri Sorting CTOM Systematic Arrangement CISO Spick and Span Siketsu Standardization and Shitsuke Self Discipline. These are the five S's that constitute the 5S philosophy. The first S is Siri Sorting. It is the beginning of a beautiful journey. It means sorting, distributing, and clearing. This first step requires a delicate balance of patience and ruthlessness and a sense of perfect definition. There's no room for perhaps or maybe. It's either yes or no. For example, a simple first task is to separate things, the necessary from the unnecessary. The unnecessary has got to go. Why keep something if you don't need it? Pull it out and place it where it is needed. If it's not useful in one area, it may be useful elsewhere. Look at the quantities available as well. Why overstock? Keep only the required amount. And if something is not needed immediately, it can be simply stored elsewhere until it is needed again. All sorted items can be tagged with a red tag for classification. This sorting process is really just the beginning of a change in work culture that will soon make a difference to the entire organization. It is a process that involves everyone concerned because the workplace is everyone's space. Sorting makes the workplace clutter-free. Resources are used better and more efficiently. For example, money. Funds that have been blocked or unutilized can now be recovered into corporate fund flow. Another example is time. Time is saved on locating things from a pile of unnecessary material when everything just has a place of its own. Thirdly, space. Once unnecessary material is cleared, space is made available for the things that are necessary. Next, assets. Unused assets get used again. They come out of hiding and can be deployed with minor or no repairs. And finally, material. A large amount of material is released during the sorting process. With a little imagination and inventiveness, they can be put to use differently. And at the end of the day, the sorting process creates a cleaner, neater and more work-friendly environment. In fact, it is like a major clean-up operation. It sets the stage for the second step. All right. If you found this video interesting, useful, valuable, fantastic, awesome, please put it in the chat box. Let's proceed to the next. The second S. Awesome. Very good. Glad you enjoyed it. Fantastic. All right. Thank you very much. Let's proceed to the next, okay? And stay till the end. I'll share this presentation. I will also share the Lean Six Sigma training manual, okay? And also register for this upcoming webinar to get the internationally recognized certification, okay, in 50 days, okay? Okay, this is the set in order. There are some before pictures, after pictures, and you remember what is called as IQL, okay? Remember IQL. How many of you remember IPL? Just type what is IPL in the chat box. What is IPL that you have seen? What is IPL? Okay, Indian Premier League, but this is IQL, okay? Just for you to remember, okay? IQL is 
decide which item it belongs to, decide in what quantity is needed, and decide the location to be kept and follow the rules. Okay. So item, quantity, location. Please take write in your notebooks. Remember this IQL item, quantity, location. So a place where everything, everything in its place. Okay. All of you type P E E P in the chat box. This is a quiz question, by the way. Okay, place for everything and everything in its place. Fantastic. Okay, now even the toolbox, this is called shadow board. All of you type yes, B in the chat box. Shadow board. Shadow board means you keep it and you mark the outline shallow of that. And when you take it, you have the exact shadow of that. It's called as a shadow board. It's a way of organizing your tools and not only tools. Even in your office, in your cupboard, in your drawer, you can organize whatever that you have kept. Okay. So remember BSCAC. Okay. All of you type BSCAC in the chat box. BSC is Bachelor of Science, AC is air condition, just for you to remember. Okay. Now, whatever is a, even this wanted items, there is a rule for in the first test, you have removed. You have segregated whatever is needed item, whatever is not needed item. The not needed item has been moved to the red tag area. Whatever is the needed item, now you should sort out on two bases. Whatever is frequently used should be kept in point of use. Okay, all of you type P O U S in the chat box. Frequently used item should be kept at the point of use. Okay, at the point of use to be more productive. Frequently used items should be kept and they should follow the rules. They should follow these rules called BSC. It should be bend free. You should not keep bending. You know, I use it frequently. If I use sugar in the kitchen quite frequently, I cannot keep bending every time to take the sugar and it should be search free. Okay. So if I use the keys, buy keys frequently, it should be search free. It should be in a place where I can take quickly instead of searching the keys all over. Okay. How many of you can relate to what I'm saying? In the morning, when you're rushing for the office, you're searching for the key. <laughs> Frequently used keys. <laughs> right? So it should be search free. Okay. And it should be climb free. You cannot keep, you know, when you're using the salt quite frequently, you cannot keep it on the top where you climb and take every time. Do you, do you ever do that? No, it should be climb free. It should be air free. Air free is a little difficult to understand. For example, you should use the space effectively. For example, if you have racks, you keep a small item there. Remaining is just air. So why waste that space? Okay, you can divide that into two racks so that keep additional items. Similarly, to make it air free, we have coat hangers, right? If you put your shirt just like that or a coat like that in the rod, it will use a lot of space. But then if you use it in the hanger, you can keep a lot of shirts so that it is air free. If you keep boxes on the floor in a haphazard manner, you cannot keep more boxes. If you can keep organized way, one box close to each other properly, you know, you can keep more boxes, which means it is air free. Okay. Don't allow the air to occupy the space. Use item to occupy the space. If air free is clear, give me a 9 or 10 if it is super clear. Air free is something people find it difficult to understand. So what is air free? They feel, oh, air free means suffocation. No. <laughs> okay, count free. So uh, design some methodology in such a way that you need not count it. Okay. For example, slots are there so that, you know, when it comes in that slot, egg basket, for example, if it is fully covered, you need not count. You know, you can just count the number of uh, baskets that are there. So you can say the total number of X, right? So it is count free. So BSC, AC. If BSC is AC is clear, type SC, super clear in the chat box. This is applicable for the frequently used items. Good. Let me let me go and uh, bend free is nothing but, you know, you keep it in such a way that you don't bend quite often. You keep it at your chest level or an arm's reach level. Okay. So in 2S, uh, the labeling, numbering, it's all very important. Labeling, numbering of the zones, uh, help in clear identification of items and even inventory. Like if you're keeping the items, you can mark like red, yellow, green and blue just to show, you know, red means it's a danger level. Yellow means reorder level. Green means 
you know it's as per design and blue means excess okay r y g r g b sorry and um, you know this is also very important whatever you park parking with marking and marking with naming all of you type p w m and m w n which means whatever items you keep a park okay you please do the marking there parking with marking okay and whatever you mark please name it also what item it is okay parking with marking and marking with naming all these uh, you know things i am telling you just for you to remember quickly recall quickly okay so you can minimize the search of time and uh, effort you can easily retrieve okay and uh, you can use the uh, effective use of visual controls help in all this so the benefits productivity increase reduce cost reduce injuries easier cleaning and additional space okay so these are the benefits productivity cost safety you know it is easier to clean okay if you organize it properly and you get a lot of space okay now there are a lot of before and after photographs after 2s that i can show you like here like this table i'm just quickly showing you because there are a lot of pictures that i have i'm just showing you a few of them which was done initially okay these are before after of these pictures but then what i'm going to show here specifically is a video okay of video okay if you're ready type ready in the chat box how many of you are ready for the video please take lot of notes from this video very very important video okay good okay stay till the end i will share this presentation stay till the end i'll share the uh, manual on stay till the end i'll also give access to some of my videos okay the second s cto is systematic the audio is okay type it's a almost okay a continuation of sorting okay. what good is all this sorting and cleaning if the sorted material is not arranged and stored in a way that is easily accessible everything in the organization must be reachable and manageable with as little human support as possible systematic arrangement follows a very simple rule known as peep what's peep p e e p simply translates as a place for everything and everything in its place it is a straightforward and systematic method of storage that makes use of available resources and space the first step is to standardize the parameters three simple questions must be asked where what and how many with these three questions the workplace can arrive upon the standardized parameters of fixed positions or where fixed items or what and fixed numbers or how many storage itself is wasteful but if storage is absolutely necessary the storage space must be free of five important elements it must be air free climb free bend free search free count free systematic arrangement leads to many innovative ideas for storage
fact, research indicates that we lose 20% of our time searching for things. Systematic arrangement reduces search time and releases five years of a person's lifetime. And that's not where it ends. An interesting outcome is in the larger picture. When the flow directions of air, water, steam and oil are marked out, a certain clarity is achieved about process and water temperature is reduced. All right, so if you found this video interesting, useful, fantastic, awesome, put it in the chat box. Hope you found this video interesting, useful, valuable, fantastic, awesome. Good, okay, thank you very much. I'm glad that uh, you found it interesting. Good, let's move forward. The third S, which is shine, okay? India shining, okay? Okay, what is shine? All of you type TDC in the chat box, okay? I'm going to just break up into some very, very logical steps. TDC, top-down cleaning. Okay, we need to clean from the top because <laughs> if you clean the bottom and again, after that top, again, everything will fall down, okay? All of you give a smiley in the chat box. Let's not be serious today, okay? All of you give a smiley in the chat box, okay? Ha, ha in the chat box because... I've seen when we go out and clean in the factory, some people will be cleaning, mopping the floor, and after that, somebody will climb and clean on the top and everything will fall down and they'll say, what? Why do you do that? Just now I cleaned here. <laughs> good, okay, good, good. Now we have a lot of smileys and energy in the chat box, good. Good, so cleaning becomes from the top, you know, like ceilings, fans, pipes, etc. on the top and then sideways you clean it and finally, you clean the bottom close so that you avoid cleaning again and again okay and a lot every day cleaning for the workplace and very very important build pride in work areas identify sources of contamination and clean them have a cleaning kit which can reach that sources of area where you can clean the best cleaning is no cleaning okay cleaning is form of inspection okay cleaning with a meaning all of you type CWM in the chat box. Cleaning with meaning. You're not the cleaning person. You're not the servant who is cleaning. But when you clean in your workplace, you'll clean with the meaning. If you engage somebody else to clean your workplace, they won't find meaning. They'll just do simple cleaning. How many of you agree with me? Just type agree in the chat box. Cleaning with meaning. One When you clean your own machines in workplace, that is what is cleaning with meaning. And I call cleaning is inspection. All of you type CII in the chat box. Cleaning is inspection because when you clean, you will inspect the sources of contamination. You will identify and find out why and where it is coming from. You will inspect as well as if you keep housekeeping guys, they will not do inspect. They will just clean and go away. All right. Cleaning is inspection. So sometimes you need to remove the covers and put some safety here. You can see through so that it's easier to clean, to find out when you have to clean it. For example, here, the oil was spilling from here. They have put a guard so that oil gets collected here and getting you reused. That's oil localization. So when you open and see, see, this is something that's close to my heart. You might see that this thing looks dirty, but it was very dirty earlier. After cleaning and starting the machine, the worker found that there a lot of steam that was escaping and again spoiling the floor. He immediately took his Coke bottle, cut it so that he wanted to localize it. He doesn't want everything. Please give the thumbs up to this operator. Okay. Give a thumbs up to this operator, to this workman. Okay. See what he did is you can see the Coke bottle here, which is cut and he really wants, he doesn't want the entire place to become shabby again. And immediately he put the coke bottle and I mean, he's just localized the cleaning because he did whatever best he could. Okay. And after that, you need to find a permanent solution for this. Okay. And there are a lot of things. For example, 
when you pour the lubrication oil inside this gear box it might fall all over the box but you know you have a funnel type of this thing pipe and a funnel so that you can think how to avoid cleaning through these mechanisms okay so this is after cleaning some pictures here and cleaning to identify the source of contamination okay you can develop a cleaning schedule have a cleaning kit have a monthly cleaning calendar okay and benefit of cleaning is better work environment easier to collect defect def detect defects improves efficiency reduces increases safety reduces accidents customer when he comes it looks better tools and equipments are clean help standardization i'm not reading all this and explaining because this is you know this is simple english and look at this you know before and after cleaning this is the same workplace okay and look at this this is a deep cleaning that was done in very old machine but very valuable machine way back 20 years back okay and your job is not complete unless your workplace is clean how many of you agree type super agree in the chat box okay so you need to clean your workplace the bottom shows how it was before and top shows how it was after okay so your job is not complete unless you leave the workplace clean okay okay so how many of you are ready to see this awesome video of 3s type ready in the chat box take a lot of notes okay focus on this good the third s CISO is spick and spam. This is a daily routine. After making a joint pledge, it is up to the people to make the workplace spick and spam. This collective cleaning is not merely cosmetic in nature, it is cleaning with meaning. Cleaning exposes hidden defects and detects faults and problems that are deep-rooted. Cleaning is not restricted to the shop floor alone. All the adjacent areas, including office blocks, come under the purview of cleaning. The cleaning calendar specifies who cleans what and when. It also specifies intervals at which relevant points are to be checked. Take a look at this timetable. It provides clear and detailed instructions about what needs to be cleaned when. Just follow a specific timetable and you're set to go. One of the most heartwarming outcomes of this collective cleaning process is the friendship it builds within the organization. Everyone is treated in the same way, from the director to the doorman, and no distinctions are made. At the end of the day, everyone's equal. For example, when a worker sees his boss cleaning the toilet, he is filled with a sense of loyalty to the organization and realizes how deeply everyone cares about everyone. In fact, it goes even further and impedes the human ego greatly. In many ways, it matches the ideas of Mahatma Gandhi, who always believed that cleanliness was right next to godliness and that leadership must be by example. All right, if you found this super interesting, valuable, useful, fantastic, awesome, put it in the chat box. Okay, 